We are here with uh, Marcus uh, Samuelson, he is the um, owner of the Red Rooster and been on many of the food networks and things. We are here at the um, New York Auto Show which um, is uh, helping to promote the Volvo from um, uh, Sweden. Sweden. You know, my home city. Home city. Uh, tell us a little about your uh, career, how you got involved in uh, cooking and, uh, and, and so forth. Well, I've, been, I've been cooking all my life and uh, my uh, parents uh, and grandparents always taught me how to cook and then I had a chance to travel abroad and work in Switzerland and France and uh, been living in New York for a long time and just cooking has been my journey and my story. You bought the uh, Red Rooster in uh, Harlem. Tell us why and uh, what kind of food do you cook there? Uh? Red Rooster is a neighborhood restaurant in Harlem in a neighborhood that I live and I, want to, I thought it would be uh, fantastic to cook and, and create uh, a restaurant in the neighborhood where me and my life, wife live. So, um, it's been almost three and a half years now. We're very fortunate and um, very blessed that the neighborhood has embraced us and uh, bring people uh, to the restaurant. Now let me ask you another question. Um, you really kind of went mainstream on television when it came to uh, come to ethnicity. I mean, there's a lot of uh, not too many African American or people of color or minor diversity too involved in that. Uh, why was that? Why were you more successful than any of the other? I, you know, I, I, I look at, for me, I, my journey on TV has been uh, everything from local TV to national, uh, national TV and it's something that uh, I've been very fortunate with and I work really hard on and, um, you know, uh, I can't really answer uh, for the industry but I can just answer for myself that uh, TV has uh, been, a, a, been an exciting journey for me and uh, I love working with TV, whether I do something for the lo local uh, TV in Sweden or local TV in Harlem or something for nationwide. Anybody who wants to come to Harlem, they say we're going to the Red Rooster. It was Sylvia's, Londell's, and, and, and many of these guys have been there for the institution. I used to eat at uh, Sylvia's and God bless her, she passed away. But now it's like everybody wants to eat at the Red Rooster. Ooh, uh, everybody, I mean, I know Red Rooster. Uh, well, I mean, first of all, uh, the community have had great restaurants in Harlem for decades and we're very fortunate that uh, we could be part of a community that has real legs to stand on, just like Londell's and Melba's and Sylvia's. So they really set the frame and, and the standard and the stage for us and now uh, Harlem has a lot of restaurants and it's good for uh, for the neighborhood, it creates a lot of jobs, it creates a lot of people come to Harlem and, and it's been an exciting um, really 10 years journey to see um, the blend of the traditional restaurants that's been there before and the new restaurant that's coming to uh, into the community. Marcus, we're here at the Volvo event today. You drive a Volvo, you're doing a little uh, promotion for the company from your, uh, where you lived uh, in Sweden also. Tell us a little about that, driving that car and the experience with that brother. Well, Volvo, you know, not only am I from Sweden, also from Gothenburg, where Volvo uh, was founded in and started in. So uh, it's a brand and it's a car that we are very, I feel very personal with uh, in terms of a brand and a car. And uh, it's always a great uh, experience uh, and it's been throughout decades. So I just feel like um, being part uh, here with the Volvo family and the team has been a lot of fun and anything that comes out of Sweden, we are Swedes are very proud of uh, and, and Volvo is sort of the, the star in that. So. Well, I was a very, uh, you know, I was a big fan of uh, Inga Marjo Hansen. Yes, he yes, was yes. A great fighter. Well, my dad loved him too, absolutely. Yeah, it was a great fighter. World Liberty TV, thanks for watching and hope to see you uptown.